One last thing, Bubba, if you don't mind, is Chris Sorley says, how do you feel about Bowens going to Georgia? Chauncey Bowens, Kirby has been flying helicopters, private jets, uh, buses, yachts, everything to this young man's school, and now he has an official visit. Should we be nervous? If, is everything going to be okay? What are we doing here? Calm us down a little bit. <laughs> um, I mean, anytime Kirby flies a helicopter to, to, to a commit school, you should probably be nervous, um, especially at the running back position. They've put running backs in the NFL about as good as anybody has in the last five to ten years. Um, the one thing I will say when it comes to Chauncey Bowens, Jabbar Jaluk identified him early. Uh, he committed early. He really values that relationship. Okay. He really likes the University of Florida. He's a big-time academic kid. I think the Georgia visit is a visit out of respect for how hard Georgia has been recruiting him. Florida's going to have to fight to keep him in the class. There's no doubt about that. But I do like Florida's ability to keep him in the class because of that relationship with Coach Jaluk, with Coach Napier, and his relationship with the other commits in the class like DJ Lagway. Would you say it's going to be a dogfight? Liam Andrew. Warden I do think that that, that is an accurate statement, Shelton. Yes. I'm, I'm yeah, on, and, and, and this too, you, 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 you got to expect that Kirby Smart's going to go after some of the best players, no matter where they're committed at, even if they're at, committed at Florida, and you're going to have to beat them on the trail. Like this is going to be a battle between Georgia and Florida, and Florida's going to have to keep Chauncey Bowens in the class if that's what they want. I mean, if they, and if Kirby takes him, you better have one hell of a backup plan because they're not stopping – and you're going to need at least top five to beat Georgia because it's just it, it's it, it's getting to a point to where Georgia's starting to stockpile just Stop, number yeah. one talent everywhere. No, yeah. <laughs> if for you, no, you're, if for you you're to 100 you're, you're going to have correct. to recruit top five. The top ten classes aren't going to get it done. No, yeah. You're, well, listen, and I, Nick Delatore uh, from On Three said it really well um, on on a lot of the stuff that he talks about. You could be top five in the country in recruiting and be three third in the SEC. Mm -hmm. Yep. So uh, Georgia and Alabama are always going to be at in the top three pretty much every year. So if you're in the top five, you're third in the SEC by default. Um, and then you've got guys like Texas A&M, Tennessee starting to kind of pick it up in recruiting. Um, LSU always recruits really well because they have the best recruiting advantage in the history of college football by keeping kids home in the state of Louisiana. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you want to compete on the field with the big dogs, no pun intended, um, you have to be willing to go up against them on the recruiting trail. And yep, guys like Chauncey Bowens are part of that. Uh, yeah, the look, good news is Florida, is Florida is the leader in the doghouse. Keep using dog puns no, we're here. Roll here boys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but Florida got, on, got, got into his recruitment early, identified him early. Jalut prioritized him at the top of the board very early. And that's huge. It's a lot harder for a kid to flip his commitment than it is for a kid to tell you, no, I'm not committed yet. I'm going to go here. Mm -hmm. So Flo Florida ha is in a good situation there, but they're going to have to compete with the Alabamas, the Georgias, the Ohio States, the Clemsons of the world if they want to get back to that kind of on-field product that Florida fans so much loved back in, back in the day and are so yearning for. Yeah, and even even Shane Beamer's doing a pretty decent job yeah. there at South Carolina. Everybody's turning up the heat, man. That's how I keep telling people. Like everyone's getting all worked up. Like, boo's not doing this, boo's not doing this. bro. Everybody is is pedal to the metal and bringing out all the fire. So, look, what's good is that everyone's gonna have a healthy class, which tells me it's gonna resort to coaching. Who's gonna be able to put the best product on the field and 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 develop these guys? 